like to welcome now lead eye candidate number nine, representing from the Sean Sevilla Claire Innocentes. Good afternoon, Miss Boblachon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Actually, you look like a celebrity. I don't know if they agree with me. Do you agree with me? Yes, the foreigners. Oh, the foreigners. Okay, see here. So, Miss Boblachon, can you relate Nirumbai to the people of Kaluya? Okay. Um, Nirumbai is the seeds, ma'am. I mean, Nakatay niya si Gitz. Yung mga nakatay niya si Gitz dun sa dada. We call them Nirumbay. Sige. So, can you relate Nirumbay to the people of Kaluga? Nirumbay is just like a bayanihan of Kaluga uh, called people. So, they are working together to have a productive um, life and to able to Fight for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Miss Poblacion, Miss Innocentes. Okay. So your question is, um, could you think of a thing that could best represent you? Um, and why? The, the best represents me is uh, my color. Um, it's a color violet. So, pag, pag yung violet is the join yung blue chaka red is it represents me because red means strength and bravery and blue is dignity and freedom. I am, um, I am, I have strength, I am brave, and I am dignified, and I am always fight for freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Um, since you look very pretty this afternoon, uh, we want to know more about yourself. Could you tell us something about yourself? So, good afternoon everyone. My name is Sophia Peer the Andres Innocentes, 20 years old, currently studying at SDI College Calibo, taking up Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. So, as a tourism, I dream to become a flight stewardess, and because of that, I dream also to um, travel the whole world someday. And currently, I am a secretary of the first ever modeling agency in Atlan. And I do modeling in any particular uh, establishments and brands. So, yung mga income ko po is tilo to a binibigay ko po sa organization na kinabibilang bibilangan ko, which is the Abanti Kabataan. And a short background of Abanti Kabataan is that we are focused more on youth which we conduct seminars like and we conduct personality development and last time we had conducted um, personality development with which youth are know their strength they were able to know their strength and weaknesses and most especially their potentials thank you so this is just a follow-up question um you want to become a flight attendant Something. So, yes. I would just like to ask what advice you can give to the flight attendants who lost their job because of pandemic. Well, um, because um, flight attendants lost their job because of this pandemic, and um, it is a big impact for me because also because I want also to be a flight stewardess someday. All I want to say is that um, continue striving. Be confident always, and whatever that na wala sa yon, uh, I believe um, God will give you more because um, everything happens for a reason. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, are you a resident of the island of Kanya? I have my roots. Oh. I have your roots. Yes. I just change my question now. Okay. Uh, um, what do you think, or yes, what do you think is the most significant event of the Tucson Festival 
um, that Kaluya should preserve? Um, almost two years, we have been celebrating this Patusan Festival. So for me, the essence or the significance of Patusan Festival is to um, give thanks for the good harvest and um, to reunite all the Kaluyan Huon. And Patusan Festival is um, one way to honor our hardworking people here in Kaluya. Okay, I have a uh, follow-up question. It has something to do with the pageant itself. Okay. Now, most, as I have noticed, because I I have I, I was already in Kaluya way back eight years ago, ten years ago. <laughs> okay, I have seen that in the previous pageants there are candidates or there were candidates who are residents of Kaluya and uh, candidates who are non residents of Kaluya but they have roots. In the island municipality. Now, do you think it is fair enough for those who are dial or for those who have roots only to win over the candidates who are residents of Kenya and to represent the municipality in the higher level competition? So, so for me, um, as being not a resident of Kenya but I have my roots, I think it's a fair because um, we we have this privilege. We have this privilege to to represent because we have our roots, and in 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 other term, we are all equal. Like even you are a resident, still you have the roots in that place. So. Thank you. Yeah, I tend to agree because the community members I believe set our rules for this and all of you qualified to be candidates for this pageant. Thank you. Thank you. Question. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Pugashon, candidate in Bernard Sophia Fair Center.